Minecraft. Mods that could inspire a new dimension. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Zesty Craft, a dark overworld, hunting dimension. Mobs are an important part of Minecraft, not only to give players a challenge, but also because they drop a lot of useful loot. The hunting dimension mod created by Dark Hat Stuff adds a dimension that is always dark to allow for maximum spawning and restricts spawns to only hostile mobs. The increased number of hostile mobs makes it great for players looking for resources like gunpowder or eyes of ender. The best part of the hunting dimension is that mob drop rates are increased, so this improves the chance chances of players getting the drops they need. Incorporating the dimension into Minecraft's base game would give fans a better place to farm mobs and improve the efficiency of farm thanks to the lack of light. A hunting dimension would potentially be a perfect place for players to visit in the late game, with a new mob boss or some variants of the current mobs the floating lands the Aether dimension. By progressing through the Nether and the End dimensions, players ultimately receive Elytra, a pair of wings that lets the player glide through the air. This makes getting around the three dimensions quick. Yet outside the end, these elytra are heavily underutilized due to the design of the dimensions. To improve the importance of elytra, Mojang should consider including something similar to the Aether Dimension mod by Gilded Games, which adds a floating dimension located above the overall sky limit. The most useful feature that Mojang should include from this mod is the fact that if players glide off the many floating islands in the Aether, they will end up in the sky of the overworld dimension. The floating islands make use of the Elytra Essential and will require players to progress through the end to truly explore this new dimension. Mojang's Aether could also host new structures with dungeons or loot, and this could feature an upgrade for the Elytra that would increase its gliding range. The Fantasy Forest Twilight Forest for fans of fantasy settings, the Twilight Forest by Banamatic is a perfect mod to explore a huge forest world filled with castles, monsters, and dungeons. Throughout the world, players can find new animals, variants of mobs, broken houses that have mob spawners, and giant hollow trees in which to set up a base. The Twilight Forest is perfect for fans who like to explore and take on multiple tough bosses to gain control over giant structures. Any new dimension included in Minecraft will need to give players areas to explore and mobs to fight, but also tons of new building blocks to create a variety of structures. The Twilight Forest dimension is a great blueprint for a new dimension in Minecraft that would add a lot of blocks and opportunities. With a progressive story that would add a lot more to the game, the Twilight Forest would give a lot more to do in Minecraft. A Desert Land Adam 2. The Nether and the End started out as large desolate lands until the Nether update added more biomes and features to the landscape. In this way, Adam 2 by Show Claimer says true to the Minecraft formula of creating dimensions by starting with a black canvas and adding more through updates. Adam 2 gives players an endless desert with a constant sandstorm obstructing their vision, which makes exploring the dimension both thrilling and terrifying. Adam 2's Desert World would be a perfect dimension for Minecraft as it would give Mojang a chance to make meaningful changes over time. The vast desert is a perfect playground for people looking for a challenge and the new resources in this mod would add more weapon and armor types. Any future Minecraft dimension has to be more than just a new world to explore. Instead, it has to offer a new way of playing and a reason to visit, whether it is through multiple new blocks required for progression or by offering loads of loot that would usually take hours of mining. These dimensions need to be exciting and packed with opportunities. Mods have given Mojang a chance to see what the community is interested in. As Mojang continues to apply updates to Minecraft's current dimensions, it should also look at the many mods available to find inspiration for something new. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.